Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Union Jack Off. My name is Daniel Muggleton and I'm here with three people. Three, that's right. A fucking triple threat, all from Essex. We're well, not really from Essex. <laughs> Rich, you live in Essex now. That's right. They Kent all... originally. Kent, I've, I've gone over the border. You've gone from Kent to Essex. Yeah. Then we've got two yeah. Essex local boys proper. <laughs> that's me. Yeah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> fucking strong. Josh, when I said I'm from Kent, I saw it. Josh, <laughs> Josh grimaced. He's like... Ugh. I don't yeah. know how to deal with this. <laughs> pair of them, no, 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 no. pair of them. It's literally, the if, you took, if you took the water away, yeah. it's the same bit of land. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is got okay. a lot of prisons over in Kent. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, right. This is like yeah, it's full of you lot. That fake divide, like Brighton and Hove. They're like they're not the same place. Yeah. And it's like they are the same Similar place. Though. Yeah, no. so, it's, that, it's that village, that village mentality. Okay, so we got Rich Wilson. Hey, Josh James. Hello, Pope Lonergan. Hello, Bang. All right, so. Ken, let's start there. Let's All start right. in Ken. What? Why is he an unacceptable human being? No, no, I, no, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> like, think why would you happily kick him into a ditch? No, I, and you leave know what? I don't. I don't mind. I don't mind people from. Uh, I don't mind people from Kent. Really. That's incredibly tolerant of you. <laughs> I've got quite a few mates here who live in sort of like Bromley. Some that's, of my yeah, 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 that's where Kent. I'm from. I mean, from. But, but they, they, they try and say they live in South London. I'm like, it's. it's well, Bromley's a weird because Bromley, where I grew up, Orpington, Bromley area, it's on the border. So it's like one end of it's Kent, mm. and then the other end of Bromley's like so you got like beginning of Bromley's like BR something, and then the other end of it's like SE something. Bromley's right. a London so borough, is that right? right? Yeah, so you're yeah, right yeah. on the edge. So is, is because, Bromley David Bowie? Yeah, man. Yeah, just Bromley, the, David Bowie, Billy Idol, uh, the Bromley contingent, which included Susie Sue from Susie and the Banshees. Okay. Yeah. So Bromley, Bromley's history. representing quite yeah. hard. Yeah, 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 <laughs> there man. you go. That's good. There you go. Yeah. But then, but it, it's like some people claim it's part of London because I got to say, like London borders are quite flexible. I think. Yeah. Like I've heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard of those gigs in like oh, what is it? Those those Matt Brown gigs in like Surbiton. Oh yeah. yeah. Ken, yeah, 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 Ken, yeah, yeah Kensington. Yeah. That's all. Kingston. Kingston. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Kensington. What? Kensington. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, I'm gonna get our message. I don't know where the fuck anything is. <laughs> I, only, I only care about Basildon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Okay, yeah, because like they, because Surbiton is like Sussex, but also London. I Surbiton think. is uh, Surrey. Surrey, that's yeah. it. Surrey, not and Sussex. They got Surrey, then Sussex is further down. Okay, yeah, yeah. like why? What? Where does London end? Give me some like, London, like Oyster. We talking Oyster? <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, yeah, if oyster? we go by Oyster, so going into my so from Liverpool Street, uh, Stratford, still London, and then when you get to Shenfield. I think that's the last oyster. So zone, zone, yeah. zone six. Right. Yeah, and then you get to Billerick and then that's. Because right, I, I remember you, you picked me up in Epping, which yes. was oyster, that's and it. apparently is Essex. Yeah, but they had a Epping bus Forest. there. Epping Forest. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's, they, that's near where I live. That's end of right. the that's end of the central that's line. It. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because they they had like oh yeah it's like the end of the line but they had like a bus there from the past which I didn't appreciate. <laughs> <laughs> that would be from the that be from the Onga <laughs> railway station and I like the where the village I live in. Right. Oh yeah, yeah, there was yeah, a big yeah. furor when, <laughs> yeah. you, when everyone found out you're from Onga. <laughs> oh, no, what? it went mad. It's from fucking Onga. Yeah. What? what was this? Why is Onga? I don't know. They just fuck that. Um, I won some uh, little competition and uh, they. Wait, no, no, pick up the competition. Yeah. Don't, don't yeah, do none yeah. of this. Yeah. Well, it was it was Essex comedian of the year, but a lot of the best <laughs> a lot of the best comedians from Essex weren't really actually in the finals. So. <laughs> <laughs> so I never even heard of it. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even hear about it. I didn't know it until Josh won it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, so how how did you hear about it? Did you set it up? Was this one of those? No, no, I just got asked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a big PR stunt. No, I just got yeah. asked to go in so. it, and so and then when it uh, it got into the Epin uh, Forest Guardian, they put I was from Onga in there. So uh, yeah. right, and that was the big scoop from the yeah, paper. Oh well, yeah, apparently no, I, I Onga. I would have rather have not told everyone where I live, but you know, putting Onga on the map, mate. Yeah, but is Onga not Essex? Is that why people? No, Onga's in Essex. Yeah. So yeah. why were people? annoyed at you it's just it's I mean I also didn't know Onga existed until like a couple of years ago and I've lived in Essex for 30 years so oh, and the Jesus. only reason I knew is because I, t I saw a damaged seagull <laughs> and they told me to take it to the Onga and so I did so uh, yeah. that's it <laughs> <laughs> Is that Cova is is saying you killed it? Yeah, I could, no, I, 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 I saved cigar. it. We, saw, we had to climb on top of a house. It was getting caught up in like an aerial near a chimney and uh, right. like broke his foot off and stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, so we and they fixed, the, they fixed bird feet. Yeah, yeah, they screwed Onga. the foot back on. Yeah, yeah. No, we had to take it to Onga. So, uh, right. And that's how yeah. I knew about Onga. And I've lived there for about two years now. Two years. Okay, so yeah. that is in your hometown. What's the hometown? Brentwood. Brentwood. Yeah. I've heard of Brentwood. Yeah, you yeah. would have done. That's yeah. like the kind of 
that's like the cultural epicenter now of Essex because of the Towie. 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 That's a Towie hub. Towie. Do you know I was on the first episode of Towie as well? Were yeah. You? yeah, I was, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was, yeah. Although I, uh, I went to have a look at it the other day. I was basically, I was like, sort of like an extra in it, right? And uh, I went to have a look at it the other day. So my missus was like, oh, because you forget, you know. Uh, and I uh, went to have a look at it. And so I went onto the ITV app and they fucking cut me out of it. <laughs> what? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm fuming. How, but, how bad are you that you can't even make the tally No, I know, cut? I know. <laughs> oh, God, what a loser. I mean, like, yeah. So I think they shorten them down, but whatever, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah, what it is. Yeah, that's exactly I'm not bothered. Yeah, yeah. I'm not bothered. Do know that you're Essex comedian of the year? Yeah, mate, I know. There, well, maybe <laughs> that's it, mate. Well, look, I want to I wanna bring producer Mooch into here because I always appreciate producer Mooch. Hello, mate, you're right. Coming in the show. Moochie tally, boy. The only way is Essex. Can you explain that to me in an accent that doesn't sound Sound like theirs. Um, reality TV show about Essex is kind of like yeah. I mean, there's there, there's a there's a number of them. It's like the there's Made in Chelsea and the Only Way Is Essex, which is kind of like the. Is mm. Geordie Shaw the same? Or is yeah, Geordie yeah, Shaw? yeah, quite yeah, similar. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. the same yeah. sort of idea. Similar sort of thing, but it, it's kind. Geordie Shaw is a bit more. Um, Fighty, yeah, more reality. <laughs> yeah, Ta- yeah, Boozy. Ta- Ta- yeah. Ta- 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 <laughs> made in Chelsea is probably a bit more scripted, but it's, then again, I don't, I'm not really watched. reality. So they kind of it, it's actually happening, but they're sticking to a, a narrative format. They're like sticking to a clear narrative, right? Yeah. So, so in pre-production, of... they invent a narrative and then they kind of manipulate the people into fit in that narrative. Right. So, so it's kind of like, it's not like hey, just do whatever you want. It's kind of like look, there's no lines for you to learn, but at yeah. the end of the episode, you fuck him. So there's right. like, yeah, there's yeah. like the secret hand of production kind of steering uh, yeah, the way yeah, things yeah, go. Yeah. Whereas with Geordie Shaw, there is a bit of that, but it's more, let's just see how things transpire. Let's just give yeah. 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 Right. Right. Shaw and is and yeah. watch them fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know if you know this, but like um, in Australia, most of our reality TV producers are English. Really? Like you guys are like the masters. No, we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of reality TV. Yeah, and yeah. Essex is like the Hollywood for reality <laughs> TV. <laughs> this is this is the it problem. Is, mate, I swear to God, right? Since since Tower we come out, yeah. there's all these like like birds with like big fake tits and that moving to Brentwood, and I'm like, what's going on here? It's because they're all, all they was all trying to get on Tower. Right. So it is. It's like they come, mm. you know, because they want their names in naming lights. You know. Sure. But so the, like, you but the people of mate, if you want to make it on reality, yeah, 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 TV. they've made that. But is the it. people of Tower walk around like they're in Made in Chelsea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> They've so made true. a few bobs selling cars and so batteries true, and deodorant right. up the market, and they so all walk true. around like. Well, it's weird when it was when I worked for uh, the Royal Ascot. Um, when you go there and everyone's dressed up in uh, like dressed to the nines in uh, like three piece suits and stuff like that um, but you can always separate even though everyone looks the same mm. the aesthetics the same you can always separate the ones who are like slow knees slow uh, Chelsea people right, and yeah. then the ones who are Essex scum who <laughs> like come down <laughs> and I say that right. lovingly because I'm Essex scum um, wait yeah. so slow knees let's go so Sloan Rangers is like people from like Sloan Square uh, Chelsea, Chelsea. Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 Um, slow knees yeah. slow knees the yeah, people yeah. that you were getting sort of made in Chelsea exactly that sort yeah, of like yeah, yeah. exactly so you guys seem to be like establishing a hierarchy like made in Chelsea is like for the it's the posh one people. it's the posh it's one, the posh yeah. one. Yeah. It's the right, okay. they're the people who have money and then the Taui people are like more aspirational middle class nouveau. Like social yeah, new, yeah nouveau yeah. riche yeah, yeah. they're trying to they're, they're right. social climbers and the people from Kent dressed to the sevens uh, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> scum, some human scum over there <laughs> but the, yeah the, I mean it's, it's interesting because the when you the, the, a lot of the like the, the Essex type the Essex man type from mm. the 80s and during Thatcherite Britain, this kind of thing of like self-made man and these like boys done good, that's the Essex people. That's so these people right. who came from nothing and kind of worked their way yeah. up. So, so I was just at Up the Creek on Sunday and there was a train driver who I didn't believe was a train driver because he was like too pretty. He kind of looked like the person who would play the train driver in a porn <laughs> film that takes place on a train. <laughs> so what you're saying is he was probably from Essex. Maybe, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's no, a big we have thing. good looking people in Kent. I'm not even there. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you're, you're right there, Rick. Essex, uh, <laughs> bless you, bless you. Essex has got a sort of name for it, but it is it's sort of a similar sort of thing in Kent. It's just sort of like, I think people, even if, if they haven't got money, they will dress as if, you know, they will try and give the impression they do. They will try and like yeah. even be as best presented, do you know what I mean? Dress the best yeah, as best they can. Sometimes like they, they try and do it so much that it looks a bit trashy. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so like, they go over the top yeah, yeah. and that's how you say you can notice them. You go, oh, they've tried, they sort of 
you can tell that they've not actually got proper money because they've gone a bit too over yeah. the top. Yeah. Sure. It's a bit too garish. Yeah, too garish. A bit too, like, kitschy. Um, actually, yeah, it's like the Trumpian thing of, like, Donald Trump was never really a Manhattanite. He was, like, on the edges of New York, but he tried to ingratiate himself into, like, Manhattan culture, yeah. but done it so gaudy and garish yeah. and kind of slightly wrong. So that's kind of yeah. like the, the Essex thing. Essex, Your yeah, name yeah. on stuff. Yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. Like a foreign yeah. wife. They have a, yeah. a gold Range Rover and all yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Wagon wheels and lions outside their, yeah, their, yeah, yeah, their yeah. <laughs> semi-detached house. Yeah, mock Tudor, like, mock Tudor fronts and stuff right. to the house. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Sorry, so to, just to, like, kind of get a starting point for me, because like I always come at this thing from a point of ignorance. I've got a list of the home counties here mm. and I want the home counties are just the counties that's around London. Yeah. Right? That's the best way to describe it. Mm -hmm. All right. I want a definitive ranking of shittest to best. Okay. Don't be biased. So we got Buckinghamshire, Hertfordshire, Essex, Berkshire. Is that how you say it? Berkshire. 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 Yeah. Thank you. Middlesex, Surrey, Kent and Sussex. So, sorry, it's probably the best, you reckon? Mm, I don't know. No, Buckingham, Bucks, Buckinghamshire. Buckshire is quite posh, isn't it? Buckshire is posh. Buckinghamshire is where it, when like your rock stars and TV presenters make a bit of money. Mm. Right. They buy a country pile in Buckinghamshire. So you've got like Jeremy Clarkson's got a place out there. Noel Gallagher's got a place out there. You know, so you've made a bit of money. You, work, you move to Buckinghamshire. Then you come down and you've got Berkshire. I mean, all of the no, areas no. have like a posh bit because yeah, it's yeah. kind of like they can just get out of London. But I suppose that around the West is probably a bit more posh. It's a bit more, yeah. Yeah, because that, that's like, my... It does so. seem like, uh, like you said before, a lot of people that live in Essex, even if they do have money, majority of them probably it's like new money. Do you know sure. what I mean? So even like, like, it's like we said there, you know, even... Uh, and, and as well, I think people in Essex are also quite... If they have, ma have made a bit of money... Uh, they're still quite proud about their roots, so they yeah, wouldn't necessarily. Yeah. Whereas maybe I don't know, maybe people in Berkshire, whatever, if they got a bit more money, they would then sort of give the impression that they're maybe a little bit more uh, higher in a sort of social yeah. ladder. Whereas sort of people from Essex are still quite proud to sort of talk like they do. And Essex people would move yeah. if they make a bit of money, move to Billericay, yeah, or the top of Benfleet, where you have got Benfleet's down the bottom of the hill. Up the top, there's these massive houses yeah. that overlook the, the Thames Estuary and. There's a lot of footballers live up there, okay. so I imagine that's a sort. That's where the Essex, because they're proud to be from Essex, so they'd stay in Essex, but it'd be Billericay or it'd be like Benfleet just, up the top. So there, you know, all you know. these names sound like so made up. Like, <laughs> all of them, like just they've back all to got back. they've all got a giant that lives nearby, <laughs> and we all worry that one day he's going to lose his temper and squash the village. <laughs> <laughs> no, just because like when you get, I think. When you get into like the smaller towns, that's when you guys really go to town and the names like, and the, just the like, what, South End on Sea? South End on Sea, Leon, Leon Sea, sea. Stanford La Hope. Yeah. Stanford which is the, La yeah, Hope. Stanford which La makes Hope, me yeah. laugh every time I go through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Buckhurst Hill is quite an interesting Buckhurst Hill, yeah. Buckhurst Hill. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're, saying, so we're saying like Berkshire is like number one. Buckinghamshire. Buckinghamshire is number one. Yeah. Then Berkshire. Berkshire. Yeah. Surrey. Surrey. Surrey would be up there. So like yeah. West. West is more wealth yeah. and east. Mm -hmm. But you guys well, are yeah, we're because West, West London is uh, is typically more wealthier than yeah. East London, isn't it? So, um, and and these, I think a lot of these home counties are really uh, where a lot of people sort of moved out from. So, I mean, my family, for example, have moved that well, from East London, and mm -hmm. we know which happens a lot. Yeah. yeah, exactly, and that's that's probably how it's affected. There, yeah, there. I mean, there was like the East London uh, diaspora when the the. Uh, like workers, like labour workers and that, they moved from East London mm. um, because the docks, where were the docks originally? Was it in, I think it was in, I think it was like, uh, um, what's it called? What's the part near Liverpool Street? There was docks near like Liverpool Street. Shadwell or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. And, that, and so then docks closed down and then they mo all moved down to Tilbury, to the D Tilbury docks. Yeah. And that's why you get, that's why there's like very similar uh, um, speech patterns and stuff with East Londoners okay. and Essex boys sure. and girls. Yeah. Actually, that's one thing, just because I live in like Shoreditch, which is like East, and that's yeah. obviously been gentrified with mm. kids yeah. that run out. And now people like me live there. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Good coffee, very close uh. to my house. Um, but like the people who sell fruit, is that Essex people? Yeah, yeah. yeah there's like a lot of market the traders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The flower traders. people, like the flower flowers. Mar yeah. yeah, the market people tend to be more. Billionscape. Yeah, yeah more, tend to be more Essex. Fish. Whereas in Kent, they're more builders and plasterers, and like having a decent van is is key. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's I mean, big. Yeah. Good seems man. To, yeah, it seems to be. I mean, I might be status, completely yeah. wrong, but it just seems yeah. to be. Yeah, there's more market traders in Essex than in Kent. It seems. Yeah. Okay. 
No, just because yeah, like that's like in my in my head, like that's the association with like that accent with like the market people, and like the weird thing is like what accent would you say that was? Like? I have no idea. <laughs> I I th- in my head, it's Essex, but I could be wrong. It's like, Essex, is London. It's that it, thing of like a lot of glottal stops and H dropping and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. You're I was going to call and edit my Edinburgh show Message in the Glottal. Yeah, that'd be <laughs> great. That's, that's, that's I didn't know how far it would go. I love so, that, yeah. yeah. Like but that. What, what do we sound like to you then? I Marbles? mean, you, got, you guys like sound like friendly Southern, I think. Like that's like the Essex kind of accent. It's like friendly yeah. Southern. Like because London yeah. accent is kind of like a bit a bit standoffish, a bit colder. Yeah. And like Northern is kind of like, look, I'm friendly, but I don't like, I don't love books. You know? like, <laughs> it's like, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's, just, it's, it's all our really northern friendly. friends. Yeah. Really. I, I, I alienate everybody on You're the getting a few complaints now. I just say, leave a few people. We didn't say they, that. They, we they didn't say good, that. They have a good sense of humor. You guys can't say it because you're like, oh, fucking North South, like the Australian guy. Like, but then yeah, I think idiot, you whatever. might just say that because the people that you've met in comedy uh, from there, you know, if, mm. if you've maybe met more people from Essex, they can be quite like, yeah, no, maybe not. I mean, like you meet, you meet, you meet rich. Uh, you mm. mean, probably, you know, it's it's like uh, it, they're friendly people. Do you know what I mean? So it gives that impression. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. I just think like the accent, just like it's kind of like a little bit higher, like a little bit, it, yeah, like there's more like dropping thing, dropping like letters, which is very Australian, really. Yeah, like, we drop, yeah. Well, drop I mean, that's I'll tell you when go you go on. to so go on. No, go you on. Say, when you go to America, <laughs> they go, "You from Australia?" Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, mate as well. Yeah, but then you've yeah, got yeah. a lot of the people, a lot of the convicts that were sent. Were, a lot of them were from right. East London. Yeah, yeah. So they, that's why you sound like us and we sound like you. That's yeah. where it stems from. It's all the criminals that came, sounded like us. Yeah. When, when I first came here, I just I completely forgot that until now. There was like a few times that I was like, where, are you, where in Australia are you from? Yeah. And they're like, I'm from Essex. Yeah. And I was like, people. what? Like, I couldn't believe it. I, I had like a, one person, I was like, you're so New Zealand. Like this accent oh, yeah. is like so Kiwi. I can't really? even take it. And they were just like, no, just from Essex. I'm like, fucking really? Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, how? How do we do that? But, but what happens as well is that in in a lot of films a lot of gangsters or a lot of or like the the henchmen all sound like us yeah yeah it's so they, so a lot of people when they hear this accent they assume that you can get a gun at a moment's yeah. notice <laughs> I tell you, I, I tell you. I, mean, uh, I used to work. I you about to say oh, I can actually get. No, no, no. Pull it, pull it, pull it. I actually, I used to work in this uh, like this spank shop, like cool, like cold calling all oh, things God. like that. Right? A spank shop. Yeah. Oh, long story. Basically, I did. I didn't know what it was, and it was like it's like a boiler room sort of thing. When I first left school, sure. Um, I was only there a couple of months, but there's this one guy. Uh, the big alcoholic and he come back from it and he had an argument I could hear him have an argument on the phone and he was like it's really rough and I don't know why he went to me yeah. but he went up to me and he went he went Josh come here he goes can you get me one of them <laughs> <laughs> and I went and well, I didn't know he's, I'm 18 like, and I'm like I've never been around a gun in my a, life a I went two what, finger kick what are you talking yeah. about <laughs> yeah what are you talking about he went a shooter and I went what's a shooter <laughs> <laughs> a, a guy yeah. said a shooter like, yeah, yeah he went a shooter and I went Oh, oh no, no, mate. <laughs> I can't, though. No. I can't believe someone said that in real life. Yeah. I thought yeah, yeah. that was Guy Ritchie dialogue. Oh, I remember. Was very exciting. I remember what was he arguing about? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. so deep. Well, I remember the only time, only one time I've ever seen a, a proper a shooter. <laughs> <laughs> I was in, Thank you. This I used to, when I used to, I used to uh, run up the creek when it was in Maidstone briefly. Mm-hmm. So I was a manager of that. And so I knew all the other nightclubs and things like that. And there was one particular nightclub that always, they never had any chains. It was always like, oh, Richie, sort us out some chains. I was always going down there with bags of money. And I remember going in the office one day. And as I walked into the office, one of them, it was, they were fucking about with his gun. And he just, as I walked in, he went like that. And he, and he put it towards the door as I walked in. And now you think, in your head, you think you're going to be fucking cool. Like, you're going to be like John Wayne. You're going to be like, oh, fuck, you're pulling that shit at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I opened the, the door, I the door. And he went like that. He went, which and I just like, fuck off, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> Shit my pants. Yeah, of course you would. Of course, of course you would. You would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like, Rich, I'm like, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was you? Was he sort of a mate of yours as well? Yeah, I knew him. I knew him. They were mucking about, and it wasn't even loaded. But it was like, I don't. Oh, it was a real gun. Yeah, it's a real fuck gun. You know. And I'm like, I don't need. To, I don't need that in my life. Yeah, hey, I, 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 I used to get like that with a BB gun. <laughs> 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 a real with gun. Elastic band, I mean, I get away from me. Someone gets an elastic band on their fingers. I'm done. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was that was yeah, brutal, yeah, wasn't it? I brutal, did, honestly, mate, yeah. I didn't hang up. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we used to play. We used to play. You know, like we used to uh, play it. You know, like like one of you'd be like you'd be on, and the other was chasing yeah, others yeah. around. We used to do it with a BB gun when I was a kid. We used to run around this pavilion in this park, and you weren't allowed off the concrete yeah. around the pavilion. And one of you had the gun. And you used to run around this fucking thing. And I remember one of my mates, Tom, ran off the, p- the concrete and he ran down. He's like a few few yards away. And John, whose gun it was, just pointed at him like that and just went click and just shot him in the bottom. <laughs> oh, from quite far away. It was a proper shot. I just saw it go click. And then my mate went, <laughs> and just shot him in the nuts. <laughs> I, I didn't think on this podcast we'd be talking so much about guns. I thought you guys were a knife crowd. It is. Uh, nice it's more than I did. No, we're adults now. We're adults now. Well, that, that was the thing I saw like the other week. A guy got shot in London. And I was like, what a refreshing change of pace. You know, that's <laughs> well, nice. I, was, um, the, I was walking through, I was listening to podcasts the other day uh, while I was coming home from work and I was, wasn't paying attention I just kind of I accidentally bumbled onto a crime scene three armed bumbled police yeah yeah what a ridiculously I came through, English sentence. I came through I came through <laughs> these hedges to take a shortcut and kind of just walk through and wasn't paying attention three armed police grabbed me went no mate no 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 like that and I looked down there was a massive smear of blood and oh. I kicked something that looked like a little piece of bone and they were like oh. you gotta go around there. you gotta go around there and then we looked and apparently yes yeah, someone had been knifed in, it was only like the afternoon. Where so like was two, it? Uh, it's in Rayleigh, which oh, is wow. not known really for uh, for a lot. Of, but apparently, a lot of there's been a lot of knife crime. In How Rayleigh did you know lately. there was a shortcut through the bushes? Because <laughs> it's, it's it's my normal way home. You from murdered work. someone, <laughs> didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. So I took the balaclava and yeah, went yeah. to office. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You guys don't podcast when you listen to, when you're doing murders. You know, yeah, what yeah, yeah, just yeah, like yeah. put on your favourite episode of what just the to fuck? get me just, g'd yeah. up. Listen yeah, to BBC Radio Four. Yeah, just keeps me calm while I'm stabbing. Is Israeli in Essex, I assume. You gotta you gotta yeah, you gotta help yeah. me here. Yeah, Rayleigh yeah. in Essex. You got a lot yeah. of towns. That's closer to where Rich is, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It's and not too a, far from where you're a, that's why it's there's um Rayleigh is made up of I think it's because it's Leon C, so that's the Lee bit. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the Ray bit is. Oh, the Ray is the river. Is that right? I yeah, never I think knew so. That. And there's a river when the tide goes, there's a there's this thing, it's called the Ray, which is mm-hmm. out out from the uh, from the shoreline. Mm. In Leon C, and there's there's old footpaths that all the like the dockers and that used to used to use. And they're still there. When the tide goes out, you can walk right out across oh. the mud and into the towards the other, where the Thames where yeah. the where the tide's gone down. And there's a river that runs through it called the Ray. Right. So they call oh, it walking yeah, out to the Ray. Yeah, so you yeah. can follow the tide as it goes out and walk along these paths. Mm-hmm. So I think that's where Rayleigh. Oh wow. And that's well, where I it comes from. That. Possibly, yeah, yeah. I might yeah. be wrong. Because you know, there's. But, I mean, there, uh, uh, but when people so you, when you tell people you're from Essex, I think people so. They sort of think, oh, it's like a town, you know, but mm. it's such a big county. It's massive. Mm. I've got to be honest, you know, these sort of areas like Rayleigh, Leon C, South End, I never really, until I started doing comedy and going down to gigs there, I'd never really been there, no. you know, it was no, not really part of my world. Do you and, know what I mean? You're like born and raised Essex, you just never. Yeah, so, so my mm. sort of Essex that I grew up in was sort of like more Brentwood, went to school in Hornchurch, my mates were like from Romford. Mm. So that's mm. sort of uh, more like sort of going into Havering, really, is mm. where I spent most of my time. Sure. So South End is, is still from Brentwood, it's probably about what 40 minutes yeah, maybe yeah, so yeah, yeah. like you know it's, it's not that close um and there's loads of different i mean even like people in colchester which you wouldn't necessarily it's not your stereotypical essex mm. but even that is like that's like an hour away from me and when people go on from essex and go colchester yeah. in my mind i yeah. think oh i think oh well, you're not you know you know what yeah, i mean yeah, but they yeah. are but it's just it's just such a big county there's so many different parts to it so you know I think Col- if- colchester was where blur were from yeah. So when we had when we had the lad culture in in the nineties and everyone was everyone was trying to talk like this and everyone was a bit of a lad right but then you had Blur that were from Colchester and they go no we're Essex so you're Colchester yeah, 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 it's yeah, different yeah, yeah. and Colchester and Chelmsford were Roman towns right so that's where they that's where they sprung up from so they've got that they've got that history going on so how do you different. how do you think that would affect them though with them being right Roman towns well they just I, uh, I don't know how that would affect them they just there's more like. It, it's not that they've got just got more history, it's yeah. a bit mm-hmm. rather than like like Basildon. It's a new, yeah. it's a new, it's a new town. town. Yeah, yeah. It's, like Milton yeah. Keynes. So these are like historical buildings, like probably not to the extent of Bath, but like that kind of. Vibe. Yeah, there's, yeah more there's more of that in Colchester. Yeah, yeah. and it be sh- yeah, yeah. I mean, there's places like near uh, near me in Rayleigh, like Hadley, and it's all got all, like castles and ruins and yeah. stuff. And I like there's wow. like a real mythic quality to mm. it. When I was young, I used to go. Like me and my dad and brother always used to walk from Hadley to Southend, which now is like 
seemed like nothing but at the time it seemed like such a quest and uh, <laughs> and then i remember once there was like tomato ketchup spilled everywhere my dad said it was cannibals so for, for, <laughs> <laughs> so for years so i was always terrified about going when we do this like yearly hike from uh, hadley to i was always like oh like we've really got to be careful with the cannibals today it's <laughs> <laughs> getting out of tea we've all we've all away it's getting that way yeah <laughs> mate, yeah 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 start yeah. like eating each other yeah <laughs> so what you grew up in Rayleigh? Rayleigh, yeah. Okay, what's the vibe there? Because we've got the cultural capital, we've got the sea views. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Sea views. Uh, I don't know, it's weird. Like, Rayleigh's not particularly got a distinctive... I mean, there's... Okay, so there's a few things there, like the Pink Toothbrush nightclub, which used to be called Crocs. They used to have the live... The Pink Toothbrush nightclub? Yeah, you one used to have... It's one, one of the oldest indie clubs in the country. Yeah, right. yeah. and it used to have live crocodiles there when it was called Crocs. Shit. No way. What? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What? And, and a lot of... It's like... The, it's got, um, it was like a, a big hub during, like, the punk era, so, like, a lot of, like, punk bands and stuff went through there. Yeah. Um, and that's still there. It kind of hasn't really changed. I'm friends with um, Stu Whiffin, Oh, yeah. Who's I think he's the manager or he's, or part of it, and he's been there for years. Yeah. He does he does a podcast, Hardcore Listings. Yeah, I know mm-hmm. him and Scroobius Pip. They, yeah. they do stuff down there. So yeah, the the pink toothbrush is huge. Oh uh, yeah, it's, it was, that was like my kind of go to. I've been banned from it nine times, <laughs> um, <laughs> but I would I would change my hairstyle each time. I'd like top knot and then move the top knot over a bit, and they're like right. the top knot was more central. No, you're not the same guy. You can come in. So I'd come back. They were in. just banning you because it was a top knot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this was pre before it was a big thing. I started that trend, mate. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, don't admit to that, man. What? Yeah, it's a bad trend. Yeah. How, how do you get banned from a from a club um i just i used i've got glassed like seven times i've got there's why a why did you get banned are you, are you, are you a fighter i, I don't know as a fighter I, I, I was a fighter back in the <laughs> back then i was a, like just a very bitter kind of young and then man. it ended when you murdered that geezer yeah in the yeah, bush. yeah. <laughs> I then that was the end of it into the crocodile I, I, was <laughs> a, I was a fighter who didn't have many skills as a fighter although i could do mental really well i couldn't rely on brawn um, sure. So I had to just go full mental and I could yeah. do that really That's uh, usually effectively. Enough. Yeah, yeah. I can do something with my eyes that can make it go... Uh, the but lasers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, I got glassed. Uh, I've got a good picture of me like with blood like all down me when I was glassed like oh, so smiling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I look like Mick Foley. Foley. Yeah, it's it's, it's a picture. It's, it's, it's a profile. Yeah. So yeah, do you want to... I got glassed. I'm cool. <laughs> who's, I'm um, hard. who's the biggest person to come out of Rayleigh, do you think? Except for yourself. Um... <laughs> I don't think any. I'm trying to think. I can't think really. I know like like Helen Mirren came from Southend. Um, yeah, I don't really know. I don't think there's anyone particularly in Rayleigh. No. Do you know what? There, there, there might be a couple of people from Rayleigh, but where Southend's the nearest biggest town, people just go, oh, you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah, South yeah, and, it, and Rayleigh comes out under the South End like council sort of thing, yeah, doesn't yeah, it? So yeah, I always yeah. say when people ask, the South End's on the map as well. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I always just say South End, but it's really Rayleigh. Well, I always say if anyone ever asks me, I just go oh, Lewisham. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> people yeah. have heard of Lewisham, and then when we get into it, I go, oh, it's more Alpington, but you know, I'm not. Yeah, no. I was yeah. born in Bromley, uh, Bromley Hospital, and then we lived in Crystal Palace when I was a baby. And then when my brother came along, my mum and dad decided to move us out to Alpington. Right. Near, it was nearly Ipswich in Suffolk. Oh, wow, no way. I know, imagine. <laughs> tell, tell you what, that's a strange one, because if you go to Ipswich, like it's not that far from Colchester, but the accent in Ipswich completely changes. Yeah, you know? is Ipswich... It's, it's not that's Suffolk, and it? it's not Essex, yeah, isn't it? Suffolk, yeah, 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 yeah. But wait, so why would Ipswich be crazy? Is that like way further out? It's just shit. It's just shit. <laughs> Not it's a lot just more shit. There's nothing shit. there. All I know about Ipswich, there was like the Ipswich murders when their truck crew like went round killing prostitutes, yeah, you know, that's sex it. workers. Yeah. 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 He put it on the map. <laughs> <laughs> he put it that's literally the, map, the most yeah. interesting thing about Ipswich. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Oh man, that pays me back to Australia. It's just like, what do you know about that town? Well, a bunch of people died there. Uh, <laughs> yeah. that's, that's it. That's all we got. We all think like in the like we just think it's all it's all mad animals that will kill you. Yeah, it's really hot. And if you go out into the bush. That's where all the murderers live because we've yeah. all watched uh, yeah. Wolf Creek. And, and, <laughs> and vehemently racist. Uh, just like yeah, 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 You yeah. even told us like the black and white minstrels was only banned in Australia oh, like yeah. two years ago. Have you not <laughs> seen the video? Yeah. yeah, and in Australia, it was just, it was aired in like 20... Was someone did it on like, was, yeah. like, was it on like a talent show? Like Britain's Got Talent Yeah, it was on, it was on our yeah. version of like Saturday Night Live, which is called Hey, Hey, It's Saturday. Hello. <laughs> sophisticated nation. Um, very sophisticated. But yeah, it was like, into, it was like, when I was in high school at some point, like recently, you know? And then like there was an American guy on the show and he was like, 
the fuck is that? <laughs> the yeah, guy's like, what yeah, again? Yeah. It's a Michael Jackson tribute That's band. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and just like, ah, oh, God. Uh, man. But yeah, no, I mean, pretty right. Pretty racist, but like in a fun way. Yeah, casual, yeah, yeah. casual. casual. Well, when, yeah. No tiki torches, just kind of like, eh, like yeah, yeah. a bit of wink wink. They'll be joyful. A little bit joyful. Yeah. When yeah. I was a kid, the yeah, the black and white minstrel show was like prime time telly. Was yeah. it really? Yeah, people loved it. Yeah. So what is just blokes with like, well, playing like, have, like what did they, they do? Sing and dance? Singing yeah. all the, they're singing all the old tunes oh, and they'd have Jesus. like proper uh, blackface on yeah. and, and just these big white lips. And you're like, and everyone's like, oh, I love these old songs. Like, <laughs> That's yeah. mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, it took a few years and we go, you can't do that. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, my, my, my friend's mum, like, got him, like, a piece of art that was kind of, like, minstrelly. Yeah. And he was just like, what are you doing? Yeah. Because, <laughs> like, in, in Australia, like, I don't know if it's the same here, like, Gollywog? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's yeah. like, because that, there we're, we kind of say that. I know, like here, that's like no, no, no. Yeah. Well, we had, but, like, we had there yeah. in Australia, like Marmalade. that's how, that's how, like yeah. the minstrels, like it's a certain type of doll, like a gollywog doll. The gollywog doll. The gollywog man was the face of like Robertson's jam. Yeah. And so until jam. recently, it wasn't yeah, that until, long yeah, ago. He was, was, on, it? He was the oh. dude, yeah, and you could. I remember having a having a gollywog when yeah, I was yeah. a kid. And it just obviously one day just vanished. Yeah, <laughs> I'm learning but, a lot yeah. here. I didn't know it. How old are you? Uh, Thirty. Thirty. Yeah, yeah, I still yeah, feel yeah. like I've missed. Yeah. I didn't know this. I had. I had uh, one. The one that when Action Man came out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when I was a kid, I had. I had the black Action Man. It was called Tom Stone. And it was. Tom yeah, Stone. I remember taking it to school, what? and they go, "Where'd you get that?" And I'm like, like Tom. No, it was Action Man, but his name was Tom Stone. And, it, and he had his, the bad guy that he was up against was the Predator. This like, and he looked oh. like Jeff Capes. He was like this yeah. wrestler dude. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. weightlifting dude. And uh, yeah, I had that. I remember taking it to school and I go, what's that? What's that? I go, it's Action Man. Go, no, 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 it's wrong colour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was great. Tom Stone, man. Do you feel yeah. like, you feel like Essex gets a, uh, an unnecessary uh, bad rep for like racism? It was the same as Kent. Well, well yeah. weirdly yeah. enough, that I was actually going to mention that. So in the new Stuart Lee book, uh, March of the Lemmings, he says that uh, South End has got the dubious honour of being the only place where he saw an act get completely racially abused uh, by the audience members. And do you know who the act was? Uh, Ainsley Harriet. He used to do. He used to do a, a yeah, thing called right. the Calypso Twins, and Ainsley Harriet um, with someone else. Who's right. in, do you know? You might not know Ainsley Harriet. But yeah, it's Ainsley the chef. Yeah, yeah, it's in, yeah, and he used to do a, a I double do act called the now. Calypso he's, Twins. He's a meme now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I try to yeah. keep up on stuff. That's yeah. where, he, that's where his, his career's gone now. He's now yeah. a meme, yeah. But yeah, Stuart Lee said that was the only place, Southam was the only place he saw an act get completely racially abused. That's funny, and I've, I've not, I've got to be honest, I've not, um, I've not come in contact with that, with that much sort of like racial well not that I would because I'm fucking white but <laughs> so, so I've not come across much racial <laughs> I've not come across much racial abuse in Essex white people walking down the streets yeah, 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 I don't yeah. know what a fuss is about well, well, yeah, what I mean is I've not seen much of it uh, you and like we've not been with people that are racist no like, and no. I've got a bit where in, with, with my friendship group growing up about I say there's about seven of us about three of them were black so that maybe that's why they were pretty fucking big as well. Yeah. So you're not going to say nothing to them. But uh, yeah, I could maybe see in other communities if, if there's, you know, if it I'm, is mainly I'm, white. Mm. But I've not I'm seen not so much I've of it. I've not encountered like over, it's always dog whistle racism. It's always like they're, they're kind of creeping around the edges of racism not, without not actually out stating it out loud. Mm. And um, yeah. yeah, I think it's because it's, you know, they're leave, there's a quite big, Leave voting populous because it was a lot it was conservative. Leave, right? it's yeah, yeah, it's very party, conservative. But I mean, yeah. Yeah. the part oh, yeah. is very, very conservative. It kind sure. of always has yeah. been. Um, and I'm not saying I'm not saying you know you can't say that everybody that voted Leave is a racist. No, God, no, no. But everyone I know, family members included, mm. that I know are a little bit racist because I see the shit that they they share on Facebook. Mm. Like yeah. Britain first and Tommy Robinson, like free Tommy Robinson and all mm. that shit, right? they voted to leave. Yeah. So you yeah. kind of skews your judgment. And then anyone listen to this, I'm not saying everyone is. I'm not saying, yeah. I'm not saying everyone from Kent is a racist or Essex, but there's, there are huge pockets of it. When we had the referendum, I remember driving down the A2 where my, because my son lives in Gravesend, which mm -hmm. is down, he's down towards sort of like Chatham and that sort of way. And there were so many posters for leave, vote leave, vote leave, vote leave, all the way down the A2. Mm -hmm. There was a guy on a motorbike trying to pull them all down and, and in the end, I just saw him pull out, like, just stop and just, 
He just broke <laughs> just them. Just to <laughs> like, right. Yeah, there, no! was, there were so many. There were so many. I mean, I, I, I voted to leave, right? But um, Right, here we go. Right, uh, yeah, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Finally. No, I've, I voted to leave, right? Uh, and I, I've, I won't go into why I voted. No, you have to. Uh, <laughs> but I've got a bit about it where I, where I say I'm not racist, xenophobic, nothing like that. But I, I do admit that a lot of people on, on our team did vote for them reasons and that's how it mm. sort of got pushed over the line. Trouble is, you say you voted leave, people think, oh, you're racist, this and that. Yeah. But yeah. majority of people probably did vote for them reasons. I didn't personally, no. but do you, do yeah. you stand by it? Like, are you like- Yeah, no, I do. I mean, I, I, I mean, this is uh, what I say. I think you basically, uh, I say that, you know, you, you, the problem is it's not my fault I voted leave, it's your fault because you shouldn't let people like me vote. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a fucking idiot. What are you thinking? <laughs> I, I didn't know the EU was a thing until everyone started talking that about it. I didn't. I don't remember. I didn't have a clue. I don't there was no one, what, there was nobody. Not, how did you guys not know? We knew. No, but we, we knew we were, we were, you we were in it, but no one was wandering around going, bloody EU. No, yeah. Like what, now and again, yeah. they go, go oh, they're fucking with our bananas. Yeah. But it wasn't, no one was walking around <laughs> going was, ah, well, I can't believe we're yeah. still in here it only big, became a thing right. when David Cameron started making why make it a thing well, no, yeah. you should have just they, left they, it alone no, yeah. but it, no but this is the pro, <laughs> this is the thing right is there was a, a big strain of anti-immigration rhetoric and that was a look, big big thing for a long time people talking about you know uh, um, uh, Bulgarians po Romanians, Romanians coming Romanians, over yeah right? yeah, yeah. Um, uh, coming over and that was something that was very very prevalent um, and then obviously this this op this opened up um, kind of Pandora's box, and then it got conflated with like EU mm. um, uh, outsiders enforcing their laws upon us, um, and it's just kind of yeah, it just yeah. became this. And whole this is thing why there's a lot of that, a lot of Leave voters in Kent because Kent's the gateway yeah. when they come over on the ferries or they come over yeah, where they are, you know, and they come yeah. over on oh, the lorries. Yeah. So they, there was a lot. I remember being in, uh, I think it's like Sittingbourne, and they would there was a there was a hotel. There's a, a, a series of houses that they just put a lot of refugees and 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 people like that mm. into this housing in Sittingbourne. And of course, the locals were outraged, going, "What the fuck is this? Why are we? Mm. This, you know, they, they, you know." And there was there, so the conflict started. Right? So I guess that's why a lot of Kent is like, "Nah, vote and leave. I don't need this shit." Well, so, the, the, right. the, I mean, it's like the way a lot of like African Americans say they're glad that Trump actually got um, uh, became president because. Because what they knew existed, this strain of absolute racism um, and xenophobia, whatever, they knew that that existed, but it was kind of polite civil society dictated that you kind of suppress it or that you do dog whistling or whatever. Um, and then that just kind of unleashed it all. And now there's a transparency right. um, to, oh, true, to, yeah. to, to what already existed anyway. Well, but they've got a voice now, suppressed. haven't they? Because yeah, yeah, now yeah. you've got leaders that are more right than left. Yeah, and, yeah. And so people, you know, people it, in the general public feel emboldened and like, oh yeah, well, that's my that's my guy. And yeah, I'm yeah. Gonna... And, and like the, the, uh, the fact is that it's now aligned with uh, the, the um, po like, uh, Far right politicians and the popular rhetoric that's out there is now aligned with their own prejudices, mm. and they're the one, they're the sides who's winning now. They've yeah. got everything they wanted, so they're like, oh no, actually, to be this way and to um, uh, what, kind of want to send people back and, and doing that kind of stuff, um, it's it's correct. It's been validated by the fact that the Leave campaign, where a lot of their signalling was, you know, too many of these kind of people. Mm. There was that one of the the queue of people going like send them back or whatever like that right. that's what won that's what won the, the won them the leave vote so. it's right, but there is people that generally voted leave though I think for like sort of decent reasons oh yeah absolutely. Yeah. but that, that yeah. is that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean it's just all a complete mess isn't it and it uh, is a mess yeah. I mean democracy is wrong that's like yeah. that's where I'm at. Yeah. I, I, I want to go. Uh, yeah. yeah, I probably agree with you there. I want to yeah. go. I want to go. Yeah, I want to go back to monarchy. Just let the queen decide. Like I want to go back to yeah. that. Yeah. that she seems thing. pretty yeah. chill. Yeah, yeah. 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 She's yeah. yeah. We're the worker bees. Her. You're the queen. Yeah, just, yeah. Just, just do tell whatever, us. mate. Just tell me where I've got to be. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's what I want. I just want someone to tell me what I've got to do. Uh, just yeah. a kind of dictator or something that's like that. That'd be nice. No, not a dictator, but just someone just sort of little old lady, little old lady. But I think this comes again. Because we're so more connected now, we know more what's going on. Like when I was a kid, I remember my dad saying to me, he goes, look, the world is corrupt from the top down. Mm, okay. That's all you got to remember. And I was only like four. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> It's like, I've seen like, playing with John keep, Stone or yeah, 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 Tom Stone. <laughs> I'm like, just remember, son. He came over, whispered it in my head, and he fucked off. Yeah. Yeah. But, but now we're all we all know 
more stuff. Yeah. I quite liked being ignorant and not know. You like you knew yeah. you were getting fucked. We didn't know how and by yeah. how much. So right. you kind of went, oh god, as long as I can pay the bills, as long as I can look yeah. after my kids, and I've got out the roof over my head and all that shit. I don't really need to know. Yeah. All that shit, you know. I'm a bit now like, it's, you know, now we know everything. I'm like a bit of like an apocalypticist, and ever since I was young, I, I remember I used to have to get my mum to pick me up from school when I was six years old because I thought Saddam Hussein was going to drop nukes into the sea. Um, uh, and oh, I had you that, were that kid. I was that kid. That's yeah. the worst. And kid. I remember like my brother and my friends who are still my friends that they always used to say, "Oh, like apparently it's really weird. Like on the news, I've just heard that the world's ending tomorrow. Yeah. What's that about?" <laughs> yeah. like, no, yeah. no, it's yeah. not. It's you're not. Like, you're like, like chicken no, licking. That's no, really weird. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like a really fret. Uh, child so and and like when I remember talking to my nan who was a bit of a news hound about the the war in Kosovo and I was like oh is it like I saw a news round or whatever and I said oh that's not not going to happen over here and my mum was like no no of course not like it's fine and my nan was like well actually it could like oh, don't wow. lie to the boy like he, no, he's lie like to the boy. yeah 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 when 9-11 yeah. happened yeah. I remember on the news that uh, they were they were interviewing people over here and there was one woman and she was like, she says, well, I'm just, I'm just terrified now that, you know, because I live in a flat. What if they, I'm like, they're not just flying planes into random <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There's a particular reason why yeah. they chose that one. They're not <laughs> targeting your estate. Yeah, yeah. your estate out. in Basel. Yeah. Yeah. Not, it's not a, like I, that. I live on the third floor. Yeah, I might yeah. not make it down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was that shit. And it just like, yeah. Although I remember, I remember the day after, and I said, I, one of the many jobs I've had, I used to deliver bread around London. So like, I just van and drive around all night. And then in the daytime, after I dropped my van, I'd go back and collect some money from people. And I remember being on this bridge in London, and there was a there was a no fly zone over London, mm. there, so everything was on what lockdown. What sort of years this we talking? So this is the same. This is the day after nine eleven. Really? Yeah. Nine twelve. Nine twelve. Yeah. Nine twelve. Nine thirteen. You're welcome. Right? Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> that's why you're in charge of this podcast. You're very welcome. And I remember we're all stuck in traffic on this bridge. And then just sat there and it's going, yeah, no fly zone over London. This is happening, that's happening. And then we all looked up and I looked, everyone was looking up at the same time because there was a plane no. <laughs> flying over. Commercial one. Yeah, don't know what it was. It was really high up and everyone was like, what the uh, fuck? Yeah. <laughs> that easy jet plane yeah, is yeah, a terrorist yeah. cell. This like, is yeah, one yeah, idiot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, no, it's, it's weird with that. Uh, yeah, this is, this is kind of like pretty fucking sick, but I'm going to say it anyway. Um, there's a thing about where we get so engrossed by these big, like big big events like that and stuff mm. like 9-11 where it's like a, such a spectacle that yeah. now I'm like <laughs> this is sick all right now whenever I watch a piece of news and there's like a death toll mm. and then they're like oh this many I'm like oh my god like that's horrendous but then they downgrade the death toll I'm like no, it's not one of the big ones yeah, it's not, yeah, right. not one of the big it's boys so, it's fine right. it doesn't deserve my attention like like seven people have still died but it's not in double digits so it's not one well, of, it's not a 9-11 is what I'm saying I, yeah. I get really annoyed by the death toll when they're like 13 dead but they include like the gunman Oh yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck, fuck them you. guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. They, they, they yeah, zero yeah. get that, and I say hey because yeah, like you it's know, always a hey. Just, it's always yeah. a hey. Yeah. Like, in a lone, a lone shooting situation. There's never been some incel. Never freak. been a female. Yeah. James more Bond, never been a female lone shooter. There should be more yeah, guns, yeah, yeah. more diversity in gun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, S in mass shootings. Hire some female gunmen. Gunmen. Gunwoman. Sorry. Gun people. Gun people, guys. They shooters. Gun people. People, lives matter. So, uh, <laughs> guys, please, all right? But there's... But, the, yeah. um, no, but sorry, you were saying you deliver bread. One thing that I find really interesting in this country, and I don't know if it's just like where I... Who I knew in Australia is like, here people have more odd jobs, I think. I, just, no, I think it's... Well, again, I think it's coming down to because you probably... A lot more people that you know in England are comedians and that just happens to yeah. all like, a little bit but like... What do you think? Who do you think do I was I hanging out with in Australia? Just like yeah, I was but a all comedian you do, with a bunch of lawyers. Just no, like, what up, team? <laughs> like, no. In Australia, you're just crocodile wranglers and pool cleaners. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, I've come yeah. in... Oh, you're lifeguards. Lifeguards. Yeah. apparently. Yeah. <laughs> hey, my dancing career is off limits. Yeah. Um, but, Let's yeah. do our, let's I do love that I've really taken time here to not just be like sweeping about Essex and your stabby little ones <laughs> and you mention Australia for three seconds and you're like you fucking crocodile racist like, that's about right yeah thank you um, I got a croc 
Yeah. <laughs> Have you had a lot of jobs? Yeah, okay, so yeah. Uh, so look, they're, they're just like, I just think it's a thing of who you know. No, three out of three, oh, right. that's a sample size. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We, uh, that's why we're comedians now, because we've just ricocheted through our lives. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. going yeah. wherever. Else, yeah. Yeah. But that, just, yeah. That's not that common here. Like, I know a lot of the guys who just like, they kind of came straight out of uni. Yeah, but that's know? the thing. A lot of us didn't go to uni. When I was at school, uni wasn't even mentioned. It was like, uni wasn't mentioned. Um, further education, college maybe. I ended up going to college, but it wasn't even a proper college. It was just something else. It was, co- like, it was called youth training or whatever it was. Yeah, college is like a technical. It's just polytechnic. Next, yeah, you go is? like sixth form and then you go to college, but it was. It was just, it was called um, Croydon Youth Training or whatever it was. Yeah, it yeah, was more you learn a more particular skill, don't yeah, you? Yeah, say, yeah, 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 yeah. say like if you was a plumber, you go learn like. Okay, yeah. Cool. You know, no, I mean, it's right, called TAFE. So, mm. so yeah, back like back during your era, it was probably like the top four percentile who went to university, and it's still like considered a very elite thing. Yeah, Wait, it was, did you just yeah, call it yeah, Rich's yeah. era? Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> back in your day. Back that's in your our, day. That's our old <laughs> what? Riches. What in the Mesozoic <laughs> era when, when you Rich when went you to school <laughs> when you used to ride your penny farthing <laughs> to the <laughs> to Croydon <laughs> College? We never even had bananas yeah, yeah. when I was a kid. Just like push your quill away and go to bed. Oh um, but yeah, but when I came, so when when I it was my time to go to uni, um, I got in, so that's like not a good. Uh, yeah, but thing you, got, you for brought university. a fucking book with yeah, you. You're a but nerd. Then, dude. But no, but also there was a guy in my in my college who had mental health problems and made a sex tape of him fucking his Teletubby doll, his Dipsy doll. Even <laughs> thank you for specifying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Dipsy, didn't it? Even, yeah, because Poe was too <laughs> young. Yeah. You're not yeah, fucking Poe. The green Poe. one, the green one, right? fucking the green, one. Fucking the green Teletubby. And even. <laughs> <laughs> even even merch, ladies and even that k- even that kid got into uni. Yeah, right. I don't know why anyone would go to uni now. It's so fucking expensive. Yeah. Why would yeah. you bother? Oh, to, unless to, you unless to... your family have got like 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 untold amount of money. Yeah. I don't get don't, how. Don't you guys have like debt here? Like we have hex. Yeah, yeah, like we've hex got debt. Yeah, but why? Government what? Like, yeah, but then you're paying about for like. Fucking but yeah, then you, you go and you go into a like accounting. Or something. Well, someone, a, someone said the other day, like they're going, oh, we don't worry. You, you only have to start paying it back if you if you uh, start earning over twenty grand. Yeah, a year. That's why. And I'm then a, someone I'm went, I didn't go. To, I didn't go to uni just to get a job that only pays twenty yeah. grand. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's the loophole I'm sticking with. Uh, yeah, 23 grand is the threshold. I just earn less than 23 grand. Uh, <laughs> smashing it to the system. But, no, uh, yeah. What did you yeah. study? Yeah. Uh, English literature and creative writing. Oh, that's uh, cool. Nice. Comedy, that's yeah. nice. Got a first. Yeah. Got a first. Got a student of the year award I as mean, well. Student of the year. Yeah, man, yeah, that's yeah. cute. Yeah. But, <laughs> but listen, listen to this. This is how staggered it was. I actually ended up doing like seven years of university just to do fucking English literature and creative writing. So I went on. I did illustration. Did that for two years. Then I quit that. Then I signed on and got got involved with smack and uh, loads of drugs. And then taking I, or selling? Uh, no, taking. I, was, I became oh. a degenerate drug addict. And I was doing one of those guys who'd like text people at like nine in the morning, going like, "Do you, fan- do you fancy a pint?" And they're like, "No, we've got." <laughs> 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 like, like, we've, on a we've, Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, no, we got lives. So, mate. so a comedian. Yeah, is what yeah, you yeah. Became. What yeah. does smack feel like? Is it good? It's it's nice. It's very. Uh, it, it kind of you initially feel quite engaged and charged and like like you want to talk everything's interesting and everything's profound and you're having everything and then it's just like you completely sink into the core of yourself and then you're like sheltered in completely inside yourself sounds it's like really, fucking any drug yeah. 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 it's good for a bit yeah. <laughs> and then you're on the phone to your mum like I've got nothing left yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. for me I knew when my face looked like a fucking sinkhole and I was like lagoon wow, green and severely shit. underway had a plait down the b- down my back mate. I used to yeah, yeah. I, I was all cracked if out if you ever got a ponytail yeah. that's the time to change uh, everything mate, about exactly, yourself yeah. Um, yeah that was my era <laughs> unless yeah. you're a martial artist in which case I guess can was it, they, was it they say underneath every ponytail there's an arsehole? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Wait, so smack heroin, right? Yeah, well, it was for me, it's like I'd, I'd never inject, I'd smoke heroin, and then, uh, but then I would crack and stuff. Any, any drugs I could no. get hold of, I'd use cocaine as a bridge drug to get through withdrawal. But right. then the stuff that Jesus. really fucked me up, it was like oxycodone and morphine. Because that's like um, over the, the counter. Yeah, uh, it's not replace. over the counter. It's, it's control. I mean, it's like controlled but, but one like substance. It's pharmaceutically made. That's yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. What Amer- half of America is like addicted to. Well, that's what I loved yeah. about it because with uh, because with like heroin, you have to like really make a day of it. 
And whereas, <laughs> we've, whereas we've, 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 we've bring like, sandwiches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whereas we've, pre- uh, we've prescription stuff is you can because it's so pure, you can regulate your intake so you know exactly what you're taking. Does, does right. heroin to literally write you off for the day? Like you're just yeah. in a room and then. And, and as well, because you have to keep re, you know, retaking it to kind of get the effects, and then your sure. tolerance becomes. So my tolerance got to a point where I would take like a hundred dihydrocodeine tablets in one go, like literally get a hundred in my palm and kind of down them. Then I'd get like a bottle of morphine and then I'd get like a pint of oxycodone. Um, and I was just, yeah, just. Okay. That, that sounds that. like, I mean, that is fucking sounds like sort of like, the only equivalent I can think of that is like when I get fucking the new football manager. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I spend about three, four days inside, just like not talking yeah. to anyone. Well, that's like, that's so like. I imagine they're quite similar. Yeah, yeah, it's very, it is very similar, yeah. I Jeez, remember, right. yeah, and I'd kind of, I'd just go to like Quaker meetings and then uh, just to be with people. Um, <laughs> would they, would they know uh, why that Quaker meetings? Because yeah. they, just because they were elderly and they kind of, they, they think they're non-judgmental. And I'd just, I'm a Quaker now because of it. I became a Quaker while higher, but it continued into right. my sobriety. Well, yeah. And they, they were yeah. accepting even though you said, well, yeah, I'd like up. come in like, like sinkhole face, like underweight, like a vest, yeah. <laughs> like just like sitting like a vest and jogging bottoms, and they didn't, they didn't go like. What are, what are you doing here? Yeah. They would just like accept me. And go, What's How? it take to be a Quaker? Uh, you just sit in a room in silence for an hour. Is no, that the one? Much it. No, yeah, it's very the just one that's not a converty one. It's just oh, like yeah, just they're kind of anti yeah, 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 They, they, yeah, they yeah. won't let kids uh, join because yes. they, they don't want them. They don't want to I'd be say, dogmatic that's good, and false. Yeah, yes. they're very. They're always. They're very. They they're, they're kind of nonconformist and activist in spirit. They're the ones who got the slaves from the south to the north during the antebellum period, the civil rights. Is it a Christian thing? Guy. Yeah, but it's, a, it's like a, a Do you live in a mill? Thing. No, no. <laughs> it's not, this is the thing. People always expect Quakers to be. It's literally just, you could, I'd do at-home quaking. It's like kind of, a, it's like, it's like. A, <laughs> I don't think you could call it that. It's like, it's like meditation. Porn hub. Yeah. <laughs> I just quake, man. Yeah. Yeah. I just quake. I just quake, yeah. quake my fucking That's not dick. quaking, quake, that's shaking. I quake myself <laughs> fucking silly, mate. Oh, I quake mate. myself silly. You religious, yeah. Rich? No, no. What I've been, I've did, I went and did the Alpha course. The Alpha course? Yeah, when you learn, about, you learn about the Bible. I think it's a Christian thing. You learn, you learn about the Bible. I didn't, I'd spent years going, oh, it's all bullshit, it's all bullshit. And then uh, someone I knew was doing the course. And I just went, oh, can I come with you? So yeah. I went, and a nice bunch of people. And then you sort of, they, they, you're like, okay. And then one, one week they went, right, next week we're going to talk about miracles. And I'm like, oh, this would be great. Yeah. yeah. So I'm all excited. I'm like, yeah, man, fucking miracles. It's going good. <laughs> so I get there and then they go, right, he goes, right, I'll start. Okay. We wanted to buy a house. Uh, all right. Was it a time ah, This is the, this <laughs> is the, this is the main dude. This is the go. main dude. This is the main dude. And he goes, and we couldn't afford it. And we didn't know what we were going to do because we really wanted this house. And, anyway, and then a family member that we didn't really know died. <laughs> <laughs> left us money. And I was like, you shitting me. A miracle is when you lose a leg yeah, yeah. and it grows back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah and I was like, like this is fucked. What you are talking so then, about is inheritance law. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So I was like, ah, oh, this is bullshit. And then what they do, if you go for a certain amount of time, they invite you to their church. Oh. And the woman that I was with, she'd gone, she's gone like, oh, she goes, we did it last week, right? And this guy started speaking in tongues. It was exciting. And I'm like, I want to hear that. Anyway, so we go to the church and we're there. We do the thing. And then they did this bit where they go, right, and just bow your head in, in silent prayer. So we all bow our heads and all stood there. And then all of a sudden, this, you just see this guy just going, oh, doing it in tongues. And I'm like, oh, it's happening. It's happening. Fuck, man. So I'm just sort of like looking around to see, to see who it is. And then as I looked, I see the guy over on the on the left. And as he'd finished doing it, I saw him like stop and then look around to see if anyone uh, and I went, You piece of shit. Yeah. And I stopped going. I'm like, this is all bollocks. Really? I went to I just went, put it on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, go well, of course he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that was it. I was no. like, I really, I really wanted to believe. I'm like, yeah. oh yeah, yeah the Holy yeah, Spirit, yeah, yeah. it was I, bullshit. I went to uh, in uh, sorry, in uh, in Estone, no, it's, yeah, in Estonia, I went to the Ale- Alexander Nevsky Cathedral. Um, and it's real like Russian Orthodox, and I went there, and, and it, was, it sounds like so they genuinely were people who looked like Rasputin, um, but like 
in modern clothes. It was going weird. Anyway, and they do the things of like kissing the saints and like they basically like snog the feet of feet of these saints and stuff like that. And oh. then they do that like glossolalia like that. Mm. that must be, I don't know if it's in tongues or just in Russian. I don't really know Russian. But <laughs> I was. But that's the thing. I w- when I got sat there and I was and I like was really it was kind of profound experience. And I sat there with I sat there with them and started just going like, and they went like what what are you doing like, what are you doing yeah, I went, nah. oh i'm doing the i'm like joining in the service now like no no you're not russian orthodox we've got like a set thing that we actually oh. have to recite. you can't just say anything and like, i was like oh, okay fine and i bought myself a russian saint calendar and went home and uh, felt rejected by <laughs> the i like they tried to limp into like two different religions i uh, mate, I've, like, gone, I, I, like, yeah, I've gone for, i've tried to become a jain as well a jain uh, jainist uh, what's I've, a jainist never heard of that so there that's like an easter religion they believe is sort of sick. they believe all living things are sacrosanct and like all life is worth preserving and now that really appeals oh. to me so I, I don't kill anything and I I save like I save except like, that it. person you murdered with the except knife. the per- <laughs> yeah 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 the podcast murders yeah uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, that's how good. that's how you balance it out, like yeah, you do a murder. People, you people are a, fine. You snog the feet of a saint. That, yeah, yeah, <laughs> do a bit of tongues. <laughs> like, like, uh, I, want, I want this marked down. That's going to be the next big TV show in the US. It's going to be like Dexter, but for someone who does like a true crime podcast, like yeah. who could it possibly be? It yeah, was yeah, them yeah. the whole time. That's going to be it. The next big thing, and it's going to be you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Hiding in plain sight. Yeah, yeah. But like, sorry, this is the thing with the odd jobs. This is the bit that I don't understand with the odd jobs because like you've done everything. Yes, but you were like a young dad like i assume that was like part of it you know? yeah, yeah i was 20 years old when i had my first kid so yeah. any any job that someone i hey, can earn a bit of money doing this i'd go yeah fine Done. i'd do that for a bit and i go oh this is bullshit and then i'd go and do something else yeah so just kind of just bouncing around yeah especially if you just work it for some twat you work you're driving a van <laughs> and he's acting like you're working at harrods or whatever and yeah 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 and they're always like oh one day you'll be where i am I go fuck that yeah, yeah, yeah what yeah, i'll yeah. own a van yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> great yeah fuck. it's amazing how when you work for people how you know power like sort of power hungry and like mm. cunty some people yeah, can be yeah. do you know what i mean I like to think, uh, like, if I had anyone working for me, I would just, like, I think there's ways that of asking people to do stuff. Yeah. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Like, you can say to them, look, mate, please do this. Or, that, you know, but some people just so, like, just, you know, more egos in, fucking yeah. say, yeah, the city, yeah, for yeah, example, yeah, where people yeah. work and everything comedy, you know. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. It's like, what, exactly what you said, like, asking people to do stuff, not demanding stuff off of people or telling mm. them what to do. It's like asking them and it being, like, a collaborative thing and making sure that you're aware that you're, like employees, yeah. Yeah, they, you know, they're the ones who are kind of propping you up as a manager. So I had this one geezer when I when I started that. I, I got love you guys just say geezer like it's like not. <laughs> I had that. Yeah. Like, no, just you know, it never gets like tired. Yeah, but, like, yeah. It's like my 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 fiance was working with this guy and he would just say bollocks and she was like, it's been the highlight of my time. Here. Uh, bollocks <laughs> is a great word. Yeah, you, geezer, yeah. you not say geezer in uh, Australia? Absolutely. No. Geezer no. is a certain kind of person. You don't just. It's not not everyone is a geezer. Tom Tom Lewis is. Oh, I don't know this this, but I'm not saying he's a geezer. Isn't like oh, he's a geezer. I mean, this guy's a prick. No way. Right. This, this, <laughs> so, this, this is how I genuinely geezer. define geezer, and I just chat, happened upon it. Tom Lucy's got a joke. Like, he's like, my family, my, my uncle's a geezer, and what a geezer is, is a criminal, but they've got banter. <laughs> and that's a geezer. Um, no, I, yeah, I've seen I, I should probably change the way I'm describing this bloke. Then. This, <laughs> this bloke's a wanker, right? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Because a geezer is quite positive. Yeah. 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 Whereas a yeah, he's it's a like wanker. It's a term of endearment. Yeah. yeah. All right, in Australia, we love uh, uh, people wankers. I'll, ta- I'll take it. Great. I'll take back yeah. the geezer, okay? okay. <laughs> but yes, yeah, this bloke, the right? And um, I, had, I got this uh, quite a decent job in the city, which is like working for a shipping brokers, right? And uh, and it was like really, you know, it's sort of like it's a good lifestyle if you do well. It, you know, mm. it's a good a good job to have and that. And uh, there's this one bloke uh, who employed me. He's this like real like sort of a private school sort of bloke, which is nothing wrong with that. But he was really sort of like you could tell. We I think he sort of half wanted me because he maybe just thought that he was. I don't know, maybe, I think he just thought he sort of better than me anyway. Um, And he used to, like, give loads of us bollocks, and I just, like, I was quite young at the time, and I just, like, fucking would always answer back. (laughs) I just could, but, you know, it's just too, like, now I'd probably deal with things differently, but I was just like, fuck him, you know. Um, And I can remember this one time, he was like, Josh, you know I uh, don't need to work. 
Oh, and right. I went, I went to him. Uh, I went, oh, well, why do you work? He goes, well, I've got to pay for my kids' school fees. And I laughed. I went, well, you do need to fucking work then. <laughs> and the office erupted with laughter. And it was just like, and stuff like that. Where like, I didn't do myself any favours anyway. I didn't last long in that job. So, yeah. <laughs> my first proper job, I worked for Curry's, the electrical people. Yeah. And uh, the, the guy that took me on, the manager, I look back now, I'm like, he was a, he was a, he was a dude, right? He, was, mm. he, looked, he used to get slagged off in the shop. Everyone was like, oh, he's a fucking plum, but... He a just, plum. Yeah, and he, and he, in, the interv- in the interview, he just, I went there from the job centre and I just went in and, he, and I, he went, right, he goes, okay, if I took you on, what department, where would you work? What would you, what bit, where would I put you? And I went, oh, maybe in like the stereos where the, you know, the music bit, and he went, right, okay. What does the Dolby button do? And I went, oh, I don't know. <laughs> and he you pre suppress it and it would get rid of the background like hiss and shit like that, right? right? And I didn't know, and he went, and he, then he told me, he went, look, I'm going to give you a chance. All right, because you're a young lad, and I'm going to take you on. He took me on. I was terrible. I was terrible at this job, and bless him, he gave me his um, oh, what do you call it? His uh, oh shit, what do you call it? When you he, when he make enough sales, he'd get commission. Yeah. Commission, yeah. He gave me his commission for the first two months because oh, because yeah. the because the wages were that bad. Because he, he gave you his commission. He gave me wow. his commission. I mean, Jesus. I was only and this is like 1988, so. My wages including that, I got like I got like five hundred quid my first and it was the most amount of money I'd ever had. Right. And I spent it all in one day. I went <laughs> mad, I went yeah, mad. Yeah, yeah. I bought records, jeans, shirt, went bananas and went and walked into courage going, Oh, how are you doing? They're like, Have you spent all your money already? I was like sixteen. I'm like, Yeah, yeah, I have, yeah. I'm like, no, Rich, you have to make it last. Yeah. Like, I didn't know. I That's exactly what I'd done. My yeah. first pay packet, I mean, this is like, just makes me look like such an, an Essex prick, but um, <laughs> my first pay packet that I got when I was working, I bought a pair of Prada trainers. <laughs> 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 my first pay packet was something like 500 quid, yeah. like part-time job I had, and I had to get the train there, which was like 200 quid. These right. trainers were 270 pound. I literally spent it all, and then I was just like, I was like, That's fuck, yeah, I've got yeah. them. And then think went on a credit what? card there. And yeah. that, that's why you got to be in the pilot of the only way is that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I yeah. wish I'd been more appreciative of the guy. Uh, I wish, uh, now I think back, it's like 30 years ago, and I think, oh man. You took it for was, granted, do you reckon? I took it for granted. And then in the end, I stopped. I just, I remember them, I just didn't go back. Yeah. And I remember them ringing me up. I just going, where are you? I'm just on the phone crying. Like, I can't handle it. I couldn't yeah. handle it because I had to, you had to, like, if someone came in for a plug, you'd have to try and sell them a vacuum cleaner or something else. Mm-hmm. There was a guy there called Cy Jetta. And I remember him, with, he didn't give a fuck. There was a nun came in to buy a, to buy a water purifier and he was trying to, and she's like, is this it? So I think she was Italian. So that's how they so, make holy water, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so she came in for that, but he was trying to, she, like, she picks up this like air filter or something like that. And he's going, and she's like, is, is, is this it? Like, her English wasn't great. And he's going, yeah, yeah, that's the one, that's the one, that's the one you want. And it was just, it wasn't what she wanted. He <laughs> was brutal. And I'm like, man, so I couldn't, I couldn't hack it, but I wish, I wish I could go back and say to that geezer Mark going like, mate, I, that, I didn't appreciate so. it at the time. You're yeah. a fucking but, king. Yeah, 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 it was a dude. My, he's my, a dude. my first ever job, I got um, I got sucked off by my manager who was 12 <laughs> years older than me. <laughs> I got sucked off on South End Pier. Really? <laughs> yeah. Your was first job years. was a hooker, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, it was at a pet shop. Uh, How did you wrangle that? <laughs> so if you're watching this, it was at a pet shop. <laughs> Yeah, she sucked. She was twelve years old. So how old were you at the time? I was sixteen then. Uh, God, yeah. she was. She was twenty eight. Twenty eight. Yeah, that's yeah. good. I mean, this wasn't. That's, that's not. That's, good. that's I mean, not. It was good. good. It's kind it's of okay. Great. I'll no, tell you what. It's good. funny how that's legendary, but the other way around. Our oh, mate would be like fucking yeah, pedo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like, yeah. I would. It was a weird dynamic. So I was a young. I was probably quite a young sixteen year old as well. Um, and uh, like she would like take like she would drive me to like restaurants and pay for my meal. And there was like this weird like mother like son dynamic. Oh was, fuck like, yeah! No, so no, no, no. She, that's not a weird mother. She was grooming you. That's what grooming yeah. is. No, 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 no. Yeah. She, and she'd be like, eat up, eat up. You need your strength, boy. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, that's the thing. You're like making it different because it's a chick. But no, it's like yeah, grooming. Yeah, exactly. Hate the player, hate the game, man. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was of age. I was of age. Yeah, no, actually, I'll take that back. That is uh, <laughs> a little a bit fact, nonsense. It's a but it of, is that. It is that. that. If it's a woman, it's fine. If yeah, it was a yeah, bloke, yeah. it's seedy. I kind of like... Which is right. And like, I'd go, I'd like... Oh, I don't know. It's so weird. So I don't want her to see this. <laughs> Are you still of... mates with it? No, no, no. I haven't talked in years, but I think we still got each other on Facebook. So really? Yeah. Oh, mate, this is going on yeah, Facebook. Yeah, actor. <laughs> What's her name? No, 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 I can't. But yeah, no, well, I've kind, kind of... That's mad. I've kind of... Was she, was she good looking? I'd, uh, yeah. <laughs> 
They always are. They always are. Like the I, 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 I don't like to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 she was. Yeah, yeah, she was. I, 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 I found, I found her attractive. Um, but yeah, no, she'd take me like round to her house and like be like, you, you can't say like what, else, like just pretend you're here, like helping to look after this. Like she, she had this uh, friend who had a like a, a, a child with um, like learning difficulties and stuff. She would look after the child, and when I would go around her, she'd say, just say that you're here as her this child's carer. And I'd be like, oh, all right, yeah, this seems a bit, this, yeah, made me feel uh, dead inside. So, uh, probably. <laughs> Sounds exciting. Yeah. We're all going. I thought I had it bad. Really. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, yeah, I remember being sucked off and like, <laughs> and, anyway, right, and I remember it's like, you know that when people talk about disassociation, like where like you kind of come outside yourself when you're involved in an act that yeah. feels a bit weird. Mm. I remember like this dog just came around the corner and was like watching it happen. And I was just like making eye contact with this dog, just being like, you don't know what I'm going through, mate. Like I was just like, it was like, I couldn't focus on the getting sucked off. I was just had to like, the dog was my safety. And I was just like looking at him going like, as long as he's here, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I knew. Uh, 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 I don't know what to say to that. Pat, Pat was like, you ever need a guest for your podcast? I was like, yeah, I mean, I think oh, you'd have God. some stories. I didn't think it'd be like being sucked off by looking at a dog and yeah, being like, well, this makes everything okay. Yeah, yeah. This is my oh. emotional support animal before oh. they were a thing. God, yeah, that's, that's, what's, in, the, that's what's in the public domain pets now. now like? Is that why you love pets so much? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> just, just like... safety, yeah. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what's the... I mean, that is an odd job. <laughs> <laughs> How much you get paid? <laughs> yeah, not, yeah. not much. <laughs> just paid in kindness. Oh, that was, uh, that's in the public domain now, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Just like, yeah, I still work there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah. Oh, man. What's the weird, what's the oddest job you've had then? I mean, just nothing compared to that. No. You know, like <laughs> I, I worked in like this is this is like I worked in pubs because in Australia you get paid very well mm. in pubs. Yeah, I good. don't know why we all come here to do it. You guys get fuck off. Yeah, yeah. In, Australia, yeah. in Australia we get like sixteen quid an hour. I feel like pubs. in wow, uh, all parts of the world, uh, like being a waiter is more of a like a cr- more of a credible job than they consider yes. it here. Yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah. it's a proper profession. Well, I, did, yeah. I, did, I did waiting for like like two three shifts. I was like in a Greek restaurant. Everyone was fucking mental and i was like no thank you i'm gonna stand behind the bar you come to me this is very mm. comfortable yeah but in the greek restaurant yeah actually really the the boss is getting sucked off by some person who worked there and then this other guy stole all the money out of the thing and then like they all got a divorce and everything oh, and i was like that was like a month after i left and i was like man i really missed all the action here <laughs> <laughs> it's disappointing but yeah i just worked in, i just worked in bars and i was a trivia host um and that was yeah I've, when, that's what when, i mean it's just like it was all very boring when you work in uh like somewhere obviously co- co- with co- comedians we work somewhere like associated nightlife but when you work like a bar or i work, worked at a nightclub when i was about 16 mm. like you just you just see mad shit mm. yeah you know when yeah. people have had a booze like they're just different people so you know when people are like, oh yeah but he's pissing people so it's no excuse well I mean, you probably shouldn't get that drunk, but when people have to have a drink and probably God knows what else, mm. you could, they're, they're actually, they're, they're not the person that they really are. Do you know no. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing, like, it's, yeah, like, it, I think that gives you a lot of empathy for, like, drunk yeah. people, but also, like, a lot of empathy for, like, staff. Like, you can always tell someone who's never worked in service because they're a cunt. I think you can always judge people on how they treat uh, serving staff and, like, wait, waiters and waitresses. Yeah, yeah. Not definitely, yeah. The person who treats them like shit is always just a cunt. Yeah, all yeah, the, yeah, all totally. the way through, yeah, yeah. Forever. Yeah, yeah. But, sorry, just with the religion thing that I found interesting, it's like, is S- I thought the UK is not particularly religious. It's not. See, I mean, I say UK, and that involves Northern the, Ireland, which obviously, ugh, but the, like, you know, the, the but kind like of stock, England. Yeah, the stock religion is like kind of Church of England. That's what. Um, so w- w- when the we were under the. Uh, under the rule of like the Catholic Church, and yeah. then Henry VIII, when he wanted to get a divorce, broke away and basically created his own religion so that he was able to have a divorce, which was Church of England. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, that's but yeah, it's not a very religious. Because I, I was, yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I, I was just I did a gig in like a church last night, a Norwegian yeah. church, yeah. and I was like, there was like a band on, and then like me, and I was just like. Everything mm-hmm. I do is inappropriate, but then, like the Norwegian guy who was there was like, "No, don't worry." Yeah, <laughs> like, they, they had yeah. a fucking boat hanging from the ceiling. Yeah, yeah. There was no That's Jesus on the cross; it was just a fucking boat. <laughs> and I was like, "I think you guys like to travel, but yeah, damn." Yeah. Like, I uh, yeah. I get married in um second of November, right? Oh, oh, and, congratulations! Um, thank you very much. And I I grew up a Catholic, right? I'm a fan of yeah, Christ, same, a big yeah. Catholics, right? And uh, so I went to Catholic school, that sort of stuff. 
And I, I stopped really going, really, because mm. it's, it's not so much my thing. It's fucking mm. boring, let's be honest. Uh, and I just started going back because we're getting married in a church in the, in the city, a Catholic church. You've got to go back to show your face and that. Yeah. Since going back, I can't, like, it is mad. Like, I feel like, <laughs> like now I've had some time away from it. When yeah. I'm growing up, it was just short normal. I go back and I'm just like, oh, no, this is actually... A a bit fucking mental yeah you know? and a catholic yeah. wedding is long yeah, yeah i long. went to one my mate uh, a comedian friend of ours keith carter if you gig with him does a character called nige yeah and um i went to his wedding in in ireland and it's long yeah, yeah. long and there's a bit and there's me and jared christmas and we were sat down the front and there's a bit where the whole church, they all turn around to each other and they go, oh, God be with you, God be with you. Yeah. And we thought it was like an interval. So me and Jared are going, so how are you, mate? You're all right. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we look and Keith is like looking at us and he's like, hey, he's doing like that. He's like, no, no, no. Can you shake hands? Yeah, yeah, it's all that. And then we look at and then the vicar, the dude, the priest is just giving us daggers, man. And then at the evening, when we go for the meal thing in the evening, so we're all on the top table. And then the the priest comes in and he's saying saying thank you to everybody and he blanked me and Jared. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> Shook everyone's else's I'll tell hand. you what, we're quite lucky in the fact that some priests can be absolutely night like just really strict, a bit of a nightmare. Yeah, you probably yeah. know. Luckily, with the, the priest that we've got for our wedding, really chilled guy, yeah. and I think they make it as hard or not as they want to. Yeah, do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it, yeah, but yeah. it's just like they tailor it to your like specification. Exactly, and this guy, honestly, I can't speak highly enough about him. <laughs> Shout out, Father Chris. Father Chris. Shout out to Father do, Christmas. Do, do, do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah I'm, I'm getting married next year, and I want to get married in a church. Like, I don't necessarily buy a priest, but like, so I'll, I'll tell you what. I, can I, can I, would you want to get married in a Catholic church? Yeah. May I recommend St. Mary's of Moorfields next to Liverpool Street Station? Well, I mean, this will be back in Australia, so it might be a bit oh, of a commute. Oh, yeah, okay. The well, Father Chris, <laughs> if you fly flights on accommodation, <laughs> Father we'll be getting Chris. Over. Chris involved. Yeah, dad, he's a lovely guy. My dad was a quiet Catholic, so mm. we only found out recently. My mum's, my nan, uh, was my mum's mum became uh, like a born again Christian after like, she had a history of depression and mm. like, sort of stuff. Um, and, uh, and she was kind of really very dogmatic with it and try and like pushed it on us when we were younger um and so my mum's really kind of anti mm. anti religion she believes in faith but anti religion uh, but my dad yeah he's like been going to church we only like found a reason he's been going to church for right. years since he was 20 and he's he he's was what's it called when you get um when you become a Catholic communion, communion. communion. he got had communion when he was young. Yeah, yeah and he goes, he goes like quite regularly now. Did you have? Uh, yeah. I had either communion. But the, f- uh, communion, the first only communion for me was the best day of my life because we had a party after. It was quality. It was really? Like, did you not find that? No. We we had like dinner and you got like a little cross from your nan. She's yeah. like, here's the cross. You'll be okay. Oh, I've got a new pair of football boots. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking there we go. That's yeah, big right. bouncy castle in the garden. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, mate, you had a whole thing. That's like Sopranos first communion. That's yeah, 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 yeah. Really like making yeah. it fun, fun camp. Yeah, like, yeah. Everyone got really, we're really pissed, and it was good fun. Oh, obviously not me. I was eight at the time, but um, so yeah. you just had a few. <laughs> 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 a couple, couple <laughs> I got baptized. Uh, my mum did it just, just in case. So my brother and I, my, <laughs> and my little baby sister at the time, we all got, we all got baptized, and there was a party afterwards for the adults. Mm. But we got given cutlery. Really? Yeah, it was a knife and fork set. Still got it? Nah, man. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened to it. I just remember getting it. I remember I was about, I must have been nine, ten. I'm just, I'm just going, what's this? Yeah. Why about this? Bollocks. Yeah, what's this shit? Yeah, just like re gifting from their way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was, that's in my, we used to go to Sunday school when I was a really little kid, mm. like six or seven, but that was literally just to get rid of us. Like right. just, yeah. 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 Yeah, see, almost like a nursery yeah, yeah that's what it was yeah, yeah just yeah, religion, to get, yeah religion didn't feature prominently prominently mm. in my childhood at all like in the slightest it wasn't until i quite i mean na like narcotics anonymous and aa and stuff that's very there's like a religious component there i mean mm. they all they, it's it's power, power, yeah, 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 yeah i mean they always try because they know that alienates people so they always try and make Mm. sure that like actually this isn't religious um it's just the general idea yeah of yeah power. So, like, general principles. Yeah. it's your version it's whatever makes you feel better yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. so it's your version of a higher right. power yeah, yeah i mean i've got i mean I've, i'm kind of fascinated by like any kind of religious mysticism and uh 
and and stuff to do with like transcendence and faith and stuff mm. so I, i've kind of come to it later in life but yeah it wasn't a big i'd love thing. there to be if i wish it was a thing yeah yeah and that there was some there was a there was a reason to all of this i do it, it i do believe yeah. but i believe there's yeah. I mean, the thing in the That's Quaker. Like, I'm sorry, yeah. oh, sorry, but yeah, the thing in the Quaker religions, they don't say that. They say that there's like an inherent godliness within all of us. So God isn't like a man on a cloud. Mm. God is like whenever we feel um, uh, like kind of love, or we feel like patience, or we feel uh, just a connection, a kind of deep abiding connection with someone that's mm. a type of godliness. So mm. that feeling is God, and that and that is kind of the key to the key to the continuation of life like and we but but there's a mystery to it so we don't really know why we love there's no real yeah, we know right. why we lust because of you know uh, uh, procreation and stuff but there's no real reason to love and they say that's the kind of key to everything really so love yeah love, so yeah. love, yeah. Is, love is love yeah. is the key love yeah. is the key what a beautiful message yeah. now back to essence <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of love, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I was gonna say because you've got you've got the book here. You brought it yeah. with you. Do you want to do you want to give it a little plug? It's apparently yeah. it's a very good book on Essex. Yeah, Gillian Darley, uh, excellent Essex, and the bit that I was because I like I. Are you gonna do a reading? No, I won't do a reading. <laughs> no, but the, this? Bit, the bit that I was kind of bringing to the tables. So yeah. I I've, 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 I love Tolstoy, and Tolstoy refers to himself as like a Christian anarchist, and that's how I kind of think of myself as more like a minor Christian anarchist. So my kind of anarchism is like when I was in Edinburgh, I stole breakfast from a youth hostel every morning um that was my kind of anarchy yeah okay. right yeah, yeah. So oh, this was, year yeah this year every <laughs> every day i went into a youth hostel i'd done it accidentally first of all i went there there was a buffet i took some and thought oh will you pay for it afterwards mm. and ate it and they were like oh no it's for people like yourself who are at the hostel i wasn't at the hostel you and just look re- like you're in a youth hostel yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and then i, <laughs> yeah. And I yeah. realized like quality this, this i can man, just this man came off a bunk yeah yeah uh. i can do yeah yeah <laughs> I've got haggard yeah. and uh, worn, worn out. He has um, all of his earthly belongings with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's like my time of, type of minor Christian anarchy. But anyway, apparently there's uh, to do with like Tolstoyan Christian anarchy in, uh, what was it, the, the original peculiar people, um, they were part of like ministries within Essex and Essex has got this real strain of like these like minor Christian anarchy um, right. that I, I, I never knew about. And in places like, and also going up to like Purley and stuff like that. But yeah, I don't know. I thought it was just quite fascinating. There's a bit of Essex history that I never was aware of. And sure. Yeah, it just kind there of really go. fascinated me. Cause yeah, I, yeah. Cause I was gonna say like, it, but just so you know, my kind of dumb perception of Essex without having explored it properly. You're like the most Essex. Because like you're kind of well put together, you're wearing a tracksuit. Yeah, that's so I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the towy thing. It's like the kind of towy. So yeah, very clean cut and yeah, kind of groomed. But like, there, do yeah. you like you guys like obviously grew up there? Like, Rich is this is a bit different for you. Like, do you guys when you're doing comedy and stuff like? Are you aware of like a perception that's immediately like I'm from Essex and people are gonna? Oh yeah, yeah. well I think it's because I think you probably lean into it more. From oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's definitely a big part of my act. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, just because like you don't necessarily, I didn't, I didn't necessarily. You don't really realise sort of. I, I sort of just the same as the people around me really. It's only when you go out there and you gig more mm. and like, mm. and then you sort of, and then you know, you'd obviously be a bit stupid not to realise you are different. You know what I mean? Sure. So people, but yeah, I lean into it, and I think because I, I just think. But one, that's me. Yeah. You know, why should I hide that from people? That is, that's who I am. And also, I quite like that. That's who I am because it gives me um, a, something different on a circuit where there's, you know, so much competition. Mm. Um, so yeah, you know, why not? And um, yeah, I don't. I just, I've maybe more lately, more when I started, and maybe played up to it more. Mm. Trying to sort of let my material now more do the talking and just realise that people will be like, oh yeah, he's obviously from. So this is the thing about Essex that people don't get, especially where I'm living. I've, lo- I've noticed there's more artists and there's more more creatives mm. than are given credit. Like this T-shirt I'm wearing, these are the guys from uh, Leon C. Give it, give yeah. it a shout out. They're called the uh, Save Our Souls uh, Clothing. Uh, shout out to the groovy cats there. <laughs> <laughs> and got, and it's, there it it's is. a great T-shirt. If, yeah. if, you're, if you're on the video, you can check it out. The Rich is, yeah. Rich has got and the back. Beautiful. Yeah, and it's uh, so there's there's loads of artists. There's musicians. Uh, Phil Jupiter used to have a flat, or still has a flat in Lee. Mm. Um, Roman Jug, who is the guitarist uh, from The Damned, the mm. punk Wilco band. Johnson. Yeah, Wilco well, yeah. Johnson, Canvey yeah. Island, yeah, and yeah. Dr. Dr. Feelgood. Yeah. 
there's loads there's, there's more to it than just the, yeah. the, the, just towel yeah. 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 with like I, I work with a company called metal who uh, who who they they get a lot of the funding like uh, for creative funding and stuff mm. for south end um, and they've got this uh, big georgia mansion that's kind of near the sea that they that, that you can go to free of charge as an artist residency. I've stayed there for a month. Uh, mm. Hannah Gatsby stayed there for a month when she wow. was working towards uh, the show that won the award. Yeah. Yeah, net. Um, and yeah, they kind of have like really interesting people, like the woman who wrote I Love Dick as well. She was Chris, Chris Klaus, I think. Yeah, Chris Klaus. She was staying mm. there when I was there. Um, and I put on events and stuff with them all the time. Um, and, uh, you know, we have like really interesting people. There. We was going to do a thing with Stuart Lee, but unfortunately, he's schedules book now so but um but yeah. There are, there are, yeah. yeah like there scroobius are. pip yeah exactly and yeah, Stu yeah. Riffin, like you said the pink yeah. toothbrush yeah. and chris glass and the hardcore listing boys yeah. there's loads of there's loads of like arty sort of people yeah, doing stuff you know really yeah really pushing it yeah it's yeah. good yeah so. no 100 percent. i'll just say like uh, obviously i just think um uh, obviously now more than ever uh because tower is such a big thing that like you know is it that's just super popular like is that well do you, i say it's a big thing i say it's a big thing i mean it's no sort of like flea bag do you know what no, i mean like no. it's, it's not it's like bloody hell that Gemma collins whoa what a performance <laughs> <laughs> she's a genius people you know it's more just like people that like a bit of trash telly like watching yeah. but but yeah that is the impression but there are so many different sides to it and um, I mean, a big thing for, uh, I think that, you know, uh, obviously you've got the imp a certain impression of Essex. One of the great things about Essex, we've got so much great countryside. If you ever yeah. want to go out mm. for a nice Sunday pub lunch, I'll take to you loads of places. You know, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful county. It is, yeah. Yeah. Um, but obviously the sort of stereotype is based around uh, sort of on like the East London, Essex border, and then also places like Basildon and Harlow where uh, these towns have got built after the, after the Second World War. Mm -hmm to you know sort of house people from london going out there you know and so and so that's why you know it's got the connotations that it has but there's so so much more to it than it's like right. the, the, the basildon thing's fascinating it's like this big utopian kind of building project where it was going to be this new cooperative type of living and then it just fell into disrepute like instantly <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, then, yeah, yeah. and has never climbed out of it uh, but no. i mean my, my thing of being essex i i I kind of have to fight uh, against it. So, for instance, I like, I'm like autodidactic. I'm someone who's self-taught. I didn't have private education, nothing like that. Just went to yeah. normal senior school. And he used um, words like autodidactic. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. It's and it's well. been, like I like re like I read a hell of a lot. I'm yeah. like a voracious reader. Um, but then there's still things that I remember. I was talking to Alfie Brown, and he commented uh, commented on it. So rather than saying um, uh, like I, I went to university and studied English mm. literature and creative writing, I went also like. I'd done a degree in English history. <laughs> 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 and there's still that like, bastardised, like, corrupted English. And so people have this, uh, and someone as well, another comedian, it is a perfect way. They said on my stage persona, I'm someone who's intelligent, but sounds thick. And it's right. such a... And that you're is bat yeah, you're so battling it, aren't you? Yeah, like yeah, a, you do just yeah. sound thick. Like, it's, and it's such a misconception. That, that's like the connotation, like the English yeah, year, yeah. that is like, that's just the thick way to say yeah, that. Yeah, that's your... You're not home class, counties, yeah. you're not home counties English you're not uh, the kind of a B, an old BBC kind of accent yeah. you're, you're a bit right. a, it's a class thing where you yeah. don't want to like I you know I've read a book I understand stuff I've of done course. things I'm into art yeah. and all sorts yeah. but mm. there's still something in me that I don't want to I don't want to like a prick yeah, by yeah. talking about it well that's so you that keep, yeah. it's like a I don't know if it's a class thing or yeah, that, I agree, that's like man, the most agree, Australian yeah. thing of all like that we do not want to come across as intelligent that is the worst really? thing you could possibly yeah, fucking really. do in Australia you become Prime Minister immediately start like wearing a baseball cap and all of the jacket <laughs> yeah. seriously that like happens like you're in a suit the whole time then you become PM and it's like yeah mate call me ScoMo yeah. so, yeah, like, don't, just don't ever be intelligent in Australia no. like, one of this is like an American friend he came over and we we're doing university and he'd like he was like an exchange student and the teacher would ask questions to the lecture and no one would answer. <laughs> so he just all, th he thought all Australians were idiots. Cause like, you guys don't know any of the fucking answers, what? And then like, when we became friends with him, we're just like, dude, don't answer the questions. No. Like, what are you, is an it? idiot? <laughs> like, we all, and he's like, but what? I know the answer is like, yeah, we all know the answer. <laughs> you don't snitch. It's like, like you know, that, yeah. prison like that, colony, uh, don't snitch. It's like, yeah, like, and uh, we've got a bit of that like anti-intellectualism. It's not, we're not like French culture where they really kind of embrace these kind mm. of academic ideas and intellectualism. Whereas in uh, this country as well, like with Michael Gove, the thing he said like, oh, everyone's bored of listening to the experts. And it's mm. that thing of like, you don't want to, like, you don't want to seem like 
like you've got ideas above your station. Mm, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. There, yeah. there is a bit of that in Essex as well, where like I, I always say, like in it, in um, you know, I think there's a bit of a in a lot of places a bit of an inverted snobbery. So if someone does talk sort of like a little bit more intellectual and mm. uh, maybe speaks a little bit more, um, you know, sort of RP. Then people will be like, oh, you know, he's a posh cunt or whatever. Yeah. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, and then yeah. he will be like down there. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, a real, yeah. it's it's a real strange. Wait, when you say he speaks like a bit RP, what's that? Uh, received pronunciation. Mm. Received pronunciation. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So Which like, is yeah. the, is the sort of language that you hear like a BBC news reporter. Yeah. Uh, Home county. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's basically a, the, it's like a middle. Of, well, it's it's everything pronounced. It's not so quite so Queen's English. It's posh, mm. but everything's pronounced correctly, it's and right. you can't really tell. If there's no di- sort of um, sort of uh, regional dialect, yeah. don't you know. say things like "I've done a degree." <laughs> 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 that is the opposite. Yeah. All right, <laughs> guys, we're we're pretty much done. But the one question I ask everybody: um, if you could live, or you had to live, anywhere else apart from where you live currently, where would you go? Is like, is that, do you want to stay Essex? Do you want to go somewhere else? What's your what's your option? Start with Rich. Let's go. Uh, lived, anywhere in the world around. anywhere in the world if um, you had to live somewhere else I I love New Zealand New Zealand yeah you have a crack at New Zealand I love New Zealand what a fucking yeah. pathetic I know, I know. <laughs> no, 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 no no it's very I love lovely. it I love it I um I love uh, I love Wellington around that area. Mm. I even I was over there a couple of years ago. We went out cycling along the yeah. bay and out towards where the prison is and all that. And there was like this row of like uh, houses on the on the water's edge, and mm. it was like, oh man, yeah, that's it. This is it. I could just retire here. Yeah. A bit just, of lifestyle, yeah. bit of good times. Yeah, man, good food, good people, just chilled. That's yeah, it. it's a beautiful. It's like it's like the UK, but more epic because it's more volcanic. <laughs> so when you go it's on the when you go on the on the yeah. is it the South Island, the other island, the North, North North Island, North Island, yeah, yeah. When you've got oh, no, South Island, South yeah, 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 South Island. Yeah, so you've got South. Christchurch and that side of mm. t- that side of the place. That is really epic, mm. like breathtaking. You know, we drove from um, Kai, uh, uh town now where they've got the Milford Sound, mm. and we drove from there down into Queens Queenstown. But yeah. that drive, is epic, man. Oh, epic yeah, drive. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. I mean, I love Australia. Thank you. But I found New Zealand more palatable. That's okay, man. Yeah. But I love both. I've got relatives in I, Brisbane, so. I, I could see the Australian hate being a bit too much for you. you yeah, yeah, like yeah. A man you know, who yeah. sweats. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got G- Greek Cypriot. Oh, okay. shit going on that's, so that's why you got I like a, a bit of heat but not too much that's why you got such a beautiful salt and pepper exactly yeah, man yeah, yeah. yeah. alright what about you mate uh, Jamesy <laughs> yes getting it in Jamesy <laughs> yeah, good. feels yeah. good Jamesy uh, Marbella probably I don't even get that no 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 I don't even get that I don't even get that I don't even get that I don't even get uh, no, uh, but my favourite place in the world to go is New York. I absolutely love New York. I've been there a few times nice. and I just love everything about it. Um, the comedy, especially. Yeah. Um, just, yeah, I've just, and I love I love America. I'm, I'm, I am a little bit narrow minded in the fact that, you know, I just think if you want someone for sun, we'll go Spain, you know. Um, right. And then uh, if if not, if I've got a bit more money about me, then I'd like to go, I'd like to go to America, different parts, you know. Mm. Um, that said, I've only, <laughs> I've only been to Florida and New York, <laughs> but no, yeah, New York is for me. It's just like whenever I'm there, I'm just like, ah, oh, this is, you know. Right. Hopefully, but would you one would you day live in know. London though? Because like, I mean, like London is obviously more like New York. I've got to be Essex. honest. Where I live in Essex, because mm. I'm sort of on the, uh, you know, like I'm sort of like ten minutes from Central Line. Right. You know, like it's, for me, I'm, I'm pretty much just a little bit removed from London. So mm. for me, I've never had that motivation where I've been close enough to it where we can commute there anyway yeah. in yeah. about, you know, I can get to Liverpool Street in 30 minutes. Right, so you're basically are, in the suburbs of London. Yeah, if, if, sort, sort of, yeah. yeah. So I just, I've never really seen a point. And as well when, you know, my grandparents moved out of East London, they just were just, you know, telling me how bad it was. And I suppose that's always drilled yeah. into me. They're like, yeah, you want to be in Essex, trust me. You know, this is a good right. place to be. So, uh, no, London never, uh, uh, you know, appealed to me. In the same New way. York would be the, the ideal. The one? Yeah. And Poe, finish yeah. things off? Yeah, yeah New, York's, New York's wonderful. I love New York. Uh, I quite like Philly as well. So I like how destitute Philly is. And they've got like, profe- <laughs> they've got like professional homeless. They've got like yeah, prof- decent smell. They've got, like, they've got professional homeless there. Like they've, they're homeless, but they really, they know how to do homelessness properly. Properly. I like that even uh, like your br- ideal living situation, you're like, yeah, it's got to be a bit desperate. But no, my, 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 my no. real one is probably Finland. I loved Finland. I, I adored it. Finland. I, I want to go back nice. there again. Um, I, uh, yeah, there, I, the, the thing I liked about Finland, I went, there's a girl uh, who, um, who I met in 
Hackney. She was Finnish. Mm. Then I went over there and I like stayed with her for a bit. And when we met up again, I was kind of rambling on. I was talking, like going like catching up like yeah. that. And she just went, you just shut up. You don't need to do this. <laughs> and I went, she went, we don't do small talk. It's fine. Just enjoy the silence. And then we kind of walked in silence and sat down and had coffee. And then we got like deep into conversation. And I loved that about the finish. They don't do like extraneous conversation. They no. don't do small talk. They cut that bit. They nip right. that bit in the bud and then they just get into like, when they, and they're comfortable in silence as so, well. So they're, really they're like basically between podcasts at all times. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. 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 <laughs> I loved, yeah, Finland was beautiful. I loved it. There, yeah. Nice. All right. Well guys, thank you so much for this. Where can hey. people find you? Rich, plug yourself and your beautiful podcast. Um, yeah, I'm, I do a podcast called Insane in the Membrane. Comes out every Thursday at 6 p.m. Um, it's uh, men having a philosophical chat about mental health and their feelings. Mm. It's great. I love it. Fantastic. Yeah. And your social media? Uh, I'm, I am Rich Wilson on the Twitter and the Instagram. I'm on Facebook, but I don't really go on there that much. So Sweet. you can find me up and down the country at all the major comedy clubs. Nice. Pope, where can people find you? Uh, so Twitter is at the Daily Bumbler um, uh, and Facebook, just Pope Lonergan. Um, and yeah, you kind of find me up and down at different comedy clubs across the land and uh, I'm trying to think I can't, I've got a podcast but I can't remember the name of it so, yeah. <laughs> oh, it must be a cracker yeah, yeah, it yeah, must yeah, be yeah, really yeah, good yeah, yeah. and Josh where um, are you going? so I'm more of an Instagram person to be honest yeah. love Instagram we get it you're, you're young you're beautiful yeah. just come on <laughs> uh, so yeah uh, at James E. Josh um, and yeah I'm the same I'm always about go on my website joshjamescomedy.com always doing different clubs here there and everywhere so yeah check me out on there beautiful alright guys thanks so much for listening to the Union Jack Off this week please get around us at the Union Jack Off on Twitter if you like it please review it on iTunes I don't know why people don't review anything I do no no That's give a me a problem give me five stars give me a man. fucking review yeah, and geez. guys the way we end the podcast is you guys on the count of three are going to say cheers mate That's how we're going to do it. <laughs> All right. one two three cheers, cheers mate. mate fucking nailed it have a good one cheers guys the Union Jackoff with Daniel Muggleton <laughs>